What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to TTB Ravens Media, bringing you Ravens content every single day. If you want to stay daily Ravens content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the notification bell on if you want to get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Before I get into this video, I just want to say that if you didn't know, at 9 p.m. Eastern Time tonight, so it's Friday when this is being uploaded, Joshua and I will be live on the Spotlight Raiders Talk YouTube channel previewing the Monday night football game against the Raiders. So I've already put out a link on this YouTube channel for it. I will put out another one right when we end up going live. So make sure to come back 9 p.m. Eastern time to check that out. Should be a lot of fun. Very excited to talk with uh, them over there and it, it'll be a ton of fun. So uh, make sure to come in then. But um, in terms of this video, what I want to talk about is the Ravens running back group because it's changed a lot. I, I believe a week ago, maybe two weeks ago, I, I talked about how the Ravens running back group would work. And I was like, oh, it's going to be similar to 2019. Gus Edwards is the lead back. Tyson Williams will be the Gus Edwards. And then Justice Hill would be the Justice Hill. Well, that that's not true at all anymore because the Ravens running back group is it's extremely different from what we thought it was a week ago due to the unfortunate Gus Edwards injury and the sign and as well as the unfortunate Justice Hill injury, as well as the signings of Trenton Cannon, Le'Veon Bell, Devontae Freeman, and last night Latavius Murray. I did not put out a video on that. Um, just quickly, I'll say like I really like the signing. I think it's a good fit. Um, I didn't make the video because it came out during football and. I was watching a really good game between the Cowboys and the Buccaneers. So uh, shout out to um, that game. That was a great game. Very excited for the season. Um, let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of that game. Also, let me know in the comment section down below what game you're excited to watch this Sunday. Because obviously the Ravens are not playing. It's going to be a lot of fun. Very excited for that. But in this video, I want to talk about the Ravens running back group and how I think it will work. Because there's a lot of question marks. And if you didn't know... The running backs currently on the Ravens 53-man roster is Tyson Williams, Trenton Cannon, and Latavius Murray. Le'Veon Bell and Devontae Freeman are still on the practice squad. Now, I do believe Le'Veon Bell will get elevated to the 53-man roster based on comments from John Harbaugh in the, within the last few days, talking about how you know there's a chance that he does get out there, and I think the Ravens really need his pass-catching ability. But um, overall, I... I will say eventually, I think four of them will be active for different games. And I think the Ravens are going to want to really try out everybody because all of them have a lot to prove. Trenton Cannon needs to prove that he can be a running back, not just a special teams guy. Tyson Williams needs to prove that he he deserves that spot as the number one running back, which is what he's listed as right now. Le'Veon Bell. Let me know. Bell's probably got the most to prove. If you've seen his Twitter bio, it's all the haters and comments that people have made about him. I believe in Le'Veon Bell. I've been a big fan of Le'Veon Bell for his entire career, really. I, you know, I hated that he was on the Steelers, but I loved watching him. He was a lot better than people thought in New York. Um, and Kansas City really didn't get that opportunity. So I really like Le'Veon Bell, but he is there's been a lot of doubts with Le'Veon Bell, and he wants to prove all of those wrong. Devontae Freeman. Once a Pro Bowl level running back, but then, you know, his, his offensive coordinator left, the offense declined, and he wasn't able to perform as well. Also having a season ending injury and only playing two games, um, you know, kind of right after and Tevin Coleman started to play pretty well. He ended up going to the Giants. Giants don't have a good offensive line or a run scheme or anything like that. He struggled in New York, but now he's in Baltimore. And then Latavius Murray, once the leading rusher in the NFL for the Dallas Cowboys, um, you know, behind a great offensive line and run scheme. And then, you know, he kind of goes into New Orleans and he's just seen as like this backup running back. Now, he did pretty well as a backup, averaged over four yards a carry, over seven yards of reception, did very well. But when you're behind Alvin Kamara, a, a top five running back in the NFL, it's it's very difficult to make a name for yourself as still a good player in the NFL. So he has to go out and try and prove that. So there's a lot of things these running backs are going to be trying to prove. And so what I really think is it's going to start out, I believe week one is going to be different from the rest of the season. I think week one, we're going to see a lot of Tyson Williams. And that's just because he's he's by far the most familiar with the offense. Lamar Jackson's gotten the most time with him. Um, You know, he's on the practice squad last year. So he, he actually knows what's going on. Le'Veon just got signed. Uh, Trenton Cannon just got signed. Devontae Freeman just got signed. Latavius Murray just got signed. So I don't expect them to get like significant workload, but I do expect the Ravens to say, hey, 
here are some plays, learn them, we will use them for these plays. Um, so maybe they say Latavius Murray, you'll get 10 snaps. Here are the play calls that we will call for those 10 snaps because the Ravens rarely audible and things like that, which I wish they would do more. I think it's one of the biggest things that could really transcend this offense would be um, audibling and things like that. But um, it's not, it doesn't happen all the time. I, I know Lamar has his penny penny um, that he calls out and he, he does it. He does it occasionally, but it's not a staple of the offense and things like that. But, you know, we, we don't got Peyton Manning, you know, omaha all the time. So um, one of the things that we need to look out for, so week one, we a lot of uh, Tyson Williams. But week two, I think it will change a lot. I think week two, the running back should have a better grasp of the offense. And I think it'll be a whoever's hot, whoever's playing better will be the guy that day. Um, you know, a lot of the running backs are pretty similar. Latavius Murray is very similar to Tyson Williams and Gus Edwards. Um, Le'Veon Bell, I think he's a bit different. He's obviously a more patient runner, but Devontae Freeman um, is a very good, you know, kind of off-tackle, C-gap type runner um, that he's able to take advantage of. And then in the passing game, obviously Le'Veon Bell. And then Trenton Cannon, um, is really a wild card. Hasn't haven't seen a lot of Trenton Cannon, but he's just got great speed and athleticism that the Ravens could absolutely use on you know trying to get runs to the outside and and things of that nature. So I think by week five, week six, we will know um, the full running back based on who plays the best. And so if you're a big fantasy football fan and you're like, I need the Ravens running back week one, Tyson Williams should be the guy. I wouldn't play any other running backs. Now there's a chance that Tyson Williams gets most of the yards, but at the goal line, they throw in Latavius Murray or something like that because he's a he's a proven good, you know, powerful running back. But um, overall, Tyson Williams should be the guy this week. Next week, however, we will start to really see everybody get involved. And there's a chance Trenton Cannon doesn't get a lot of opportunities, which is unfortunate. I'm a big fan of his. I really liked a lot of his film that he can't that you know I've seen um, in my own research as well as looking at you know other things people have posted, but. You know, overall, that's kind of what I think the running back situation is going to be. It's going to be a whoever's best. It's not going to be dependent on week one. It's not going to be dependent on week two. It's going to be who shows up the most in practice, who works the hardest, who has the best graphs of the offense. And honestly, week to week, who's the better scheme fit? If we go against a team with poor middle linebackers, we may use Le'Veon Bell a lot because he can he can run really solid routes and he can pass catch and it would be difficult to cover him. If we go against kind of a weaker defensive line and we're like we need to pound the rock up the middle, maybe it's a Latavius Murray, Tyson Williams and a little bit of Devontae Freeman week. It, it can really change week to week, but let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think uh, would be the best ideal situation. But as of right now, obviously Tyson Williams is running back one and we will see what happens with the rest. But thank you all for watching. Subscribe for Daily Ravens content. Make sure to come back or go to Spotlight Raiders Talk um, to see Joshua and I live streaming at 6 p.m. Pacific time for me, but 9 p.m. Eastern time for all of you. And I will put that link out on Twitter as well as on the YouTube channel in like a community post. So thank you everybody. I'll see all of you again then.